Greetings, fanboys and fangirls. This is Brandon. And this is Jared. And welcome to our Year in Review 2013 video. And that's the brand that's in trouble. Yes. <clears throat> this brand has been sending out an SOS for a couple of years now. Uh, it kind of drug along with a, an, a line that was supposed to be a follow-up, became an interim line. Uh, you know, we covered it a little bit in, in the last section, and that line is definitely G.I. Joe. Uh, now there is some, there is one big positive about G.I. Joe is that they had a new feature film that was very good. I thought it was very good. A very uh, uh, big improvement over Rise of Cobra, which uh, I did not care for. Uh, but and it, the movie was very successful, made a lot of money in the long run. But they just Hasbro couldn't get their act together on the toys. Uh, if you know anything about Retaliation, G.I. Joe Retaliation, you know it was postponed almost a year, about nine months. So, you know, the timing was off, and for whatever reason, they just could not uh, connect the dots on G.I. Joe this year. It was such a shame when they first unveiled that line, that initial lineup for uh, G.I. Joe for Retaliation. The movie was going to come out. It was an absolute disaster mm -hmm. because they put the product out and then pulled it when they figured out the movie wasn't going to come out as soon as they thought. Yeah. And rather than trying to sell through that first wave... Uh, first two waves of really bad product yeah. for retaliation in the time you know getting extra lead in time they pulled it all left empty pegs put it in the back and then when the movie actually came out rather than put out the newer figures that they had actually manufactured that were much better they they put the old figures back out and were hoping that all the people who were fans had already you know we'd already grit our teeth and bought them yeah. anyway because we were desperate for GI Joe's yeah. And exactly. they didn't sell because nobody wanted them. Nobody was going to buy them. If Hasbro had played it smart, they would have recalled all that Wave 1 product. They would have started shipping stuff out with Wave 2 with some of the some of the figures, some of the characters people actually wanted. Sold through those. Could have gotten Wave 4 out at real retail. And they should have taken that Wave 1 stuff, and those should have been like discount 8 packs for Christmas right. this year. Those should have been about $3 a piece. Uh, uh, that's how they should have sold them for the holiday season. I mean, it's an absolute mess, and usually with a brand that's in trouble, you can sort of say, okay, interest has dissipated in this brand. I absolutely don't believe that's the case with G.I. Joe. I actually think that the movie was good enough, and it was toyetic enough, you know, pardon the Joel Schumacher uh, terminology there, but it was toyetic enough to really, I think kids were really interested in it. I absolutely. think a, a collectors were super interested in it. Then you get to the toy aisle, there's nothing that even resembles it. It made Rise of Cobra seem like this incredible toy line. Yeah. In comparison, and it, at, at the end of the day, it really was. It was yeah, a great toy line. You know, their glory days by comparison, mm -hmm. unfortunately. You know, But that goes to show, you know, uh, crappy movie, excellent toy line. Mm -hmm. In reality, much better movie, really good movie, toy line that just like barely, barely hit the, the mark. Done. You know? Uh, they... Thankfully, they had that uh, that ultimate wave. Yeah. You know, later on, uh, I, the delay or whatever it was gave them just yeah. enough time to recover and deliver something that was acceptable. Yeah, those those are those are pretty good. Some of them are really good. Yeah. Um, problem is though, the only place you're going to find those right now is is at drugstores. Yeah. I mean, and you we found some right in. too. We found them. We've I we found just a few at Walmart. Apparently, some people found the whole wave at Walmart. Maybe they were all there at our local Walmart. I don't know. I got duped there. We found them at Kroger Marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, never saw them at Target. I never saw them at Toys R Us when I was there. But uh, I've seen them at Rite Aid. I've seen them at uh, Walgreens. Just I don't know. It's it's one of those scavenger hunt games to find this this ultimate way. You know, you know, we we ordered it online is how we really got it. But you know, I would like to think that these toys, in the real versions of the characters from the movie, should be available to kids or anybody who really wants to buy them. It's such a shame. Now we see uh, GI Joe is practically disappeared once again yeah. from uh, Walmart and a lot of the big box retailers. Uh, real shame, you know, Hasbro, you guys you dropped the ball this year. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they showed off figures that were canceled. They showed yeah. off an excellent Red Ninja from a movie-style Red Ninja that didn't wind up happening. And they there was a solicitation for, uh, for a holiday pack, for a Christmas yeah. pack that never materialized. Never so, you know, those aren't good signs for a toy line. Uh, I can only hope that they learn some lessons from this toy line. And next year, when they're doing their Transformers Age of Extinction line, Let's hope they've took, taken a few notes from how terribly this all turned out yeah. with G.I. Joe. Uh, at, this, at this point, Hasbro has got, uh, let's not count Battleship, but uh, at this point, Hasbro has got five you know, major motion pictures under their belt and five attempted merchandise and marketing pushes. I, I hope that they've got it figured out by now because we've got, of course, Transformers 4 coming out next year and then G.I. Joe 3 is coming on the pipeline. So 
I hope they've taken, especially for G.I. Joe 3, because Transformers seems to sell itself uh, in a certain mm-hmm. way. For G.I. Joe 3, I hope they've taken all this. They're, they're missteps with the brand this year. Even though they, they had a very successful theatrical feature film, they, their mistakes have put the brand as a toy line in jeopardy. I mean, I, I hate to think, but I mean, for all we know, Hasbro right now is thinking, well, maybe we don't need to do three and three quarters G.I. Joe's. Maybe they need to be six inches next time, and that would just be a, a real shame. Or maybe they're thinking, God forbid, maybe these things need to go five points articulation next yeah. time. You know, let's just let's just they do tried it like that with the vehicle drivers for retaliation, mm-hmm. and it clearly didn't work. Well, they they swore they would never do that again. And let's hope that they actually yeah. make good on their promise. I'm sure. I'm sure they they thought they'd never do it with Iron Man or Star Wars, but that's what they're doing. And so. if I had one thing, if anybody from Hasbro happens to be watching this or anything like that, if I have one thing to tell you, it's that I I practically bought this whole line, guys. Yeah. These were very bad toys a lot of the time. Besides those Ultimate Waves, and um, they were really bad, and I still bought it. Yeah. So please. You got people, you got fans that'll buy this stuff, and a lot of times we just buy it and grit our teeth. Nobody's yeah. forcing us to. We feel loyalty to the brand. We feel, uh, you know, loyal. Well, we're we're brand customers. starved. You know? Yeah, we're brand starved. You know, we've been so long since Pursuit of Cover was out that you know we're just like, I mean, we so need to get some GI Joes. We're here, and like you know, we're just waiting on a good product, and we just—it's not a lot to ask. I don't think you know we're, we'll put the money down. Just <laughs> you know, bring me good product. I'll pay. Over thirteen dollars a piece for a good GI Joe figures. Yeah. You know, give me something like Pursuit of Cobra, mm-hmm. like a lot of those uh, those first two waves, first three waves of Pursuit of Cobra. You know, I'll buy those. I pay fifteen dollars a piece for those. If you just long. put them out for me, please. Yeah, I mean, uh, so that's that's the message. Uh, quality sells itself. Absolutely. Mm-hmm.